Hello everybody, welcome to another Remaking Doors uh, part. Uh, today what we're going to be implementing is vitamins into our game. So I already have a vitamin um, model inserted, which you can find by, all I did was this. I looked up vitamin in um, toolbox, went to models, didn't insert it into the t starter pack, got rid of the animations, got rid of all these sounds, and everything else is good. So in doors... Um, Hold on, let me just go ahead and play. Indoors, when you uh, eat vitamins, you get a speed boost for a little bit. So what we're going to be making is when we eat vitamins, we're going to get a speed boost for a certain amount of time, and then it'll go away. So one other thing, let me just edit the um, tool grip. Oops, hold up. Let's make this like right there. And um, that should be good. And I will link this uh, vitamins model in the, the the description. So let's go ahead and insert a script. Um, let me think here. Script into actually we'll insert a local script into it, and we will just name this handler. We could say local tool equals script dot parent um, local player equals game colon get service players dot local player just come on dot local player local character equals player dot character so then we could see we could say tool dot activated colon connect function if character colon find first child has speed boost then we won't run anything but we'll say else so if they have the speed boost we won't do anything because they already have a speed boost going on right now but if they don't we're gonna do this we're gonna say local new um actually speed boost tag equals instance dot new string value and then we'll parent that to the character we'll then say speed boost tag dot name equals has speed boost um then we could say we'll get the humanoid so we'll say local humanoid equals character colon wait for child humanoid then we could say humanoid dot walk speed equals humanoid dot walk speed times two and if you don't want them that get doubled walk speed you can change it to whatever you want you can change it to 1.5 i'm actually gonna leave it on 1.5 um hmm then we could say then we could say tool on destroy and another thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to insert a local script inside this handler what we're going to say here is we're going to say tag um script and we'll in here we'll define the player we'll say local game equals get service players dot local player local tag equals uh script dot parent local character equals player dot character we can say wait five Actually, we'll do uh, we'll do wait seven. So this could be how long you want the um, it to the last. Another thing, this tag script. Go ahead and disable it for now. So we'll say wait seven. Then we'll say local humanoid equals character colon with child humanoid. We'll say humanoid dot walk speed, and then we'll just set it to the default walk speed, which is sixteen. Um, and then we can say actually, or we can make it a, a better system. So you don't have to change this every time we could say we can make a number value in here and we'll just name this original walk speed. And we could just say humanoid dot walk speed equals script dot original walk speed dot value. And then we'll say tag colon destroy. Then when we create that that speed tag, we'll say script dot tag 
script.parent equals speed boost tag script dot tag speed dot ta dot tag script dot enabled equals true it's actually throwing a little weight and we'll say script dot tag speed i mean that tag script dot original walk speed dot value equals humanoid dot walk speed so let's go ahead and test this out so as you can see, we're, we're normal, we're normal speed. Eat the vitamins, doesn't wanna work. Doesn't want to work. Um, let's actually do this. Let's change this to a, to a normal script. So to do this, we'll insert a script. We'll name this handler. We'll, we could just take all this code, put it inside the handler, and we're gonna change a few things. So we'll say tool equals script.parent local character equals tool dot parent well actually how about this we'll say uh, local character local player local humanoid and we'll leave these undefined and then tool dot activate it will say character equals tool dot parent player equals um game colon get service players colon get player from character character and then we could just say, get rid of this. We'll say humanoid equals character colon wafer child humanoid. So that should be good. And then what we could do here is we'll change this also to a, a normal script. So we'll, oops, let me do that. We'll do that. We'll say tag script. Put that in there. Disable this at this point and we're also going to need to insert a new thing object value and we can just make this the character so we'll go back inside we can delete this one because we don't need that one anymore we'll say script dot tag script dot character dot value equals uh, character local character equals script dot character dot value local player equals game con get service players con get player from character character and that should work now so let's go ahead and play and see if it works now Let's go ahead and see. So we're normal speed, we eat it. And it still does not want to work. Tag script. Script.tag script. Um we'll say local tag script equals that. Script.tag script tag script dot parent equals speed boost tag then we could just get this put it here put it here and put it there so let's go ahead and see if this is working now so we're normal speed let's just go to open this door we eat it we get the speed boost and will it no okay humanoid equals character colon um hmm. let's see if this works so either we get the speed boost Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? No. Okay. So instead, we can do local humanoid equals workspace colon find first child player dot name dot humanoid. Let's see if this will work. So we eat it. We get the speed boost. No. Okay. 
We can do, let's try this instead. So we'll do, we'll set this to player. We'll say player, actually wait, dot player val dot value equals player. Then in here we'll say Local player equals script dot player val dot value local character equals player dot character humanoid equals character on wait for child humanoid. Let's see if this wants to work now. So we eat it, we get the speed boost. And it still does not want to work. Um, equals workspace colon find first child player dot name. Let's try that. Boom. Let's do this then. Target humanoid. Actually, wait, this is in the player, right? We could just do this. Wait, we could just do this. We could say character local character equals tag dot parent. We could just do that. I didn't even realize. So wait, get rid of all this garbage. We don't even need that. Get rid of this. Let's go ahead and play. I didn't even realize we could just do that. So we'll eat it. We'll get the speed boost. And as you could see, it then went away. So to make that even more noticeable, I'll show you. We can make it times three, just so we're really fast and then You'll see it goes away. So we'll just eat it. As you can see, we're really fast. We're running. And then when it goes away, we go back to being normal speed. So that is how you make vitamins in your game. This will be linked in the description. You can change this value to how much you want the player to speed up. And you can change this value to how long you want it to last. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. If you um, enjoyed the tutorial, please like the video, subscribe, really helps out. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers. Um, and yeah, that is it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.